I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my student Joseph. Let me thank him and I hope that many students who are taking up advanced functions or pre-calculus will benefit from the solution of this question. We'll look into the relation x square plus y square plus 6x minus 10y equals to 15 which represents a circle. You need to explain how it can be written as combination of two functions and then you need to find domain and range of any one of them. So basically this equation gives you equation of a circle. Let's say that's the circle we are looking into. This circle fails the vertical line test and therefore it is not a function, right? So if I draw a vertical line, it fails. There are two points on this circle which has the same y value for a given x value. So it is a relation. To make it combination of two functions, we can consider the upper half of the circle or a semicircle as one of the functions, right? So the idea here is to get equation of semicircle. So that is the idea. So for that, what do we need? We need to find a couple of things. We need to find the center and the radius. Once we get center and radius, we'll also be able to find domain and range. Now, how do we get the center from the given equation? Well, there are a couple of ways. The method which we are going to adopt is completing squares. So we'll complete squares to find the center, right? So if I'm able to write this equation as x minus h whole square plus y minus g whole square equals to r square, we know that h and g is the center, correct? So that is the strategy. Now, you can actually now pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin by completing squares to find the center. So it's the same equation, x square plus y square plus 6x minus 10y equals to 15. Let's rearrange. We could write this as x square plus 6x and we have plus y square minus 10y equals to 15. Half of 6 is 3, so I'm going to add 3 square. So we get x square plus 6x plus 3 square. So that completes the square for these two terms. And what we can do here is that we can add 3 square to the right side also. So we are maintaining the same equation, right? Here, we have y square minus 10y. Half of 10 is 5. So I'm going to add 5 square now on both these sides. So that is completing the square step. As you can see, these three terms and these three terms could now be written as a perfect square. x, we can write plus 3, whole square. And for this, we could write y minus 5 whole square equals to 15 plus 9 plus 25, which is 49, right? So I could write this as x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square equals to 7 square. So that gives you an idea. So we do have now our circle completely defined and we will split it into two parts. Each semicircle will be a function, correct? So that becomes our circle with the center at minus 3, 5. 
and the radius being 7. Do you see that? Radius being 7. So I could write our function as x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square equals to 7 square where y is greater than let's say we can just make it y greater than 5 greater than equal to will be better is it okay so we can have an equation like this now this equation is clearly of the upper half of the circle so it is a semicircle this is the semicircle we are talking about. Is it okay? And that is a function. Correct? Now, the second part of this question is to write domain and range. Let's see how to write domain and range of this function. Now let's work on that part. That is to say, what is the domain and what is the range? Now, easy way is since we know 7 is the radius right since we know 7 is the radius I could get these two points taking away 7 from minus 3 gives us minus 10 and y value of 5 and on this side if I add 7 I get plus 4 and 5 and on the top the maximum value could be 5 plus 7, right? 12. So we have minus 3, 12 here. Now from here, you can easily write domain and range. Correct? So domain is that the x values should be between minus 10 and 4. And the range is that y value should be greater than 5 as we define, but less than or equal to 12. Do you see that? So that is for the upper half of our function. The other function could be x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square equals to 49 or 7 square where y is less than or equal to 5. Is that okay? That is also a function, the lower half. I would like you to write domain range for that function as just as a practice question. But I hope with this you clearly understand how to use completing the squares to find the center of a circle and also the radius and answer such questions. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.